Alright, so it's project time. And today we will be making our very own flipbook. Making a flipbook is a simple way to learn the core concepts of frame by frame animation. By creating sequenced images in a book format and running through those pages rapidly, you can create the illusion of motion. For this project, you'll need a few supplies. A pencil, pen or sharpie, as well as index cards or sticky notes. As you can see, I'm using index cards and a Sharpie. First, we will want to determine how many frames our animation will be. Flipbooks are usually best when there are only a few frames of animation. Once we've decided on how many frames we want our animation to be, we then fold our index cards to make it look like a book. I try to leave the fold slightly uneven to make it easier to flip the pages. Once that's done, I begin to create my animated frames. Each image that I draw creates the illusion of motion. In this instance, I'm going to make my own rocket ship. Once I have enough frames drawn, I return my book to the first page and flip through it as fast as possible. Can you see the rocket ship flying? All right, so now that you've got a basic understanding of frame by frame animation, let's try this same project again, only this time using a free online animation tool called the WIC editor. If you have access to a computer and a drawing tablet, or a touchscreen device, well, that should make this project a bit easier. With that said, it can also be completed with your regular standard issue mouse or using a smartphone. Once you launch the WIC editor, you'll be taken to your workspace. Consider this your canvas. Grab the brush or pencil tool and start drawing your first frame of animation. Once you're done with that, go to the second frame at the bottom of the screen and hit the plus button. This will create a new blank frame. In the lower right hand corner is the onion skin button. This will allow you to see a ghost-like image of your last frame. This is pretty nifty because it allows you to duplicate your previous frames more easily. Create your next frame and repeat this process until you feel satisfied with your animation. This time, you don't have the same limitation as with a flipbook of having a limited number of frames. From there, turn off onion skinning and hit the play button to see the more dynamic version of your flipbook animation. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to check out our next video by clicking the link to the right. Omzi would like to thank our presenting sponsors, Boeing, Verizon, and also our supporting sponsors from CUI Devices and Microsoft for making Steam Week digital content possible.